وسهلا بكل المشاهدين اللي انضموا لنا بحلقه اليوم من بيتازل حلقه اليوم كثير مميزه وكيف لا وهي اخر حلقه بسنه 2021 رح نودعها سوا وطبعا ما في احسن من انه نروح لاعلى عجله بالعالم وهي عين دبي كرمال هيك رح ناخذكم جوله لتعرفوا عليها اكثر مثل ما عودتنا دبي طبعا والامارات بصفه عامه هي سباقها دائما لحتى يصير عندها بارضها اهم الاحفلات واهم الاحداث واهم المهرجانات وطبعا هالشيء كمان بيتجلك اكثر بالاكسبو 2020 وخاصه عندما اقيم واحد من اهم المهرجانات الفنيه اللي جمع اهم نجوم بوليود وطبعا هالشيء كان برعايه الموزع الموسيقي الاستاذ رحمن وطبعا ما فينا غير ما انه نعمل هالانترفيو معه ونعرفكم اكثر على هالمهرجان Hi man, sir. Welcome to Bitazel. First of all, I can't tell you how spectacular Firdaus Orchestra has been so far from what we've seen. So congratulations. Thank you. Whatever we've seen so far, the performances, the composition has been magnificent. So wonderful job. Uh, it's been over a year. We've been waiting with bated breath to see what Firdaus is all about. Mm -hmm. So from what it was conceived to, from how it happened to, if you have to describe that in a few words. Well, I was. Uh, we just wanted something amazing in this area. And um, without the players, how would you determine what orchestra it is? And we don't know who the players are, so we audition a lot of people, almost 250 people, and and I think they all of them, whether they got selected or not, they were so elated that this and as an idea itself was so good, and they were like oh, supporting the sisters and <laughs> all the stuff happened. And so when we got the orchestra, is when I felt like um, I told Yasmina Sabha, the conductor, said this orchestra has to be the world's best. We have to aspire for that because you know people when people are performing, they're going to record it on the mobile phone. They'll put it out. So if anything which is bad, you'll be permanently there. Sure. <laughs> you know, but then of course they are all like so. Uh, some of them are quite world class people, and and we have this orchestra which is just an aspiration, a hope, an example. You know, for the whole community, all over the world, and uh, we've been getting you know great. readings from all over the world from classical labels and and that's happening in very short time like in, in three months is pretty amazing yeah. from roja to atrangire it's been almost 30 years yeah. if you have to describe this journey in one word um pain and pleasure <laughs> but is is it just like life <laughs> there's no pleasure alone there's no pain alone there's always like there's no fame alone there's no blame alone Is there in in this whole? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I think that one word is actually blessing. Yeah, blessing. Allah program. Allah program. Allah program. In this thirty years, if there is that one song when somebody says, "Ah, Erema," the one song that comes to your head as a composer. Hmm, it depends on each day. <laughs> um, you know, every decade has the stuff, and sometimes I keep forgetting, and then like, oh my God, that song is so good. Why don't we? And, and you know, you go to all those voice uh, shows, and then the kids pick up some really stuff which I've never heard after even releasing. So I said, "Hey, that that boy performed that very well. Let's do it in our show." So we pick it up, and you get um, in the clutter of so many different things, you forget. And um, so it's nice. So that, that, that one song, I don't have one song. <laughs> Fair enough. But that's my next question. Question is that. When you have a concert of this kind, or for that matter, any of the films in any language, how do you pick your singers? Because not all of them come from a trained filmy singing playback background. How do you pick your singers? If, if I give an audition, will I do this time challenge? Too? See the there no because I worked with uh, in a time where there were no English singers, no Hindi singers in Chennai. So I try to use the talent. And make them sound good as much as possible, and so that whole exercise actually helped me to have this fearlessness about using anybody. 
like you know <clears throat> you come in you have a great voice and you just practice and then you sing and it'll we'll try to make it work you know that's the whole ideology not like before where uh, one singer has to stand in front of 100 people and sing and she has to be good he or she should be good in tuning and pronunciation and have a great voice and have tempo and have you know that qualities of what like a chitra or as people also from your tms or pishushila or alada mangeshkar had um if you have lesser qualities it's fine as long as you have the personality it was my formula and the smart ones improved so that they could survive the very competitive industry the ones which then take the extra initiatives are missing now and But how, how do you then make your singers perform across different languages i mean you get a urit narayan or adnan sami to patience. sing in <laughs> patience i hope they have the patience even now we had uh, a parmasundri and we had rihai de and now atrangire the entire album is fantastic my favorite is love me little little i love okay. that song okay what comes to your mind when you come up with a composition like that so catchy and peppy mm-hmm. you know what is that thought process that you have is it the brief from the director or is it the actor like danush you've done so many films i think this in the little little is actually more a danush kind of space it is what he's been doing with uh, what i've been doing so i said okay let's adapt to what is this the way he writes lyrics as a let's try like how um, how he danush writes is like because colaveri and all yes, those things yes. so like let's give him that character because that's hard to get for anybody and he's got it so let's uh, take that and complement it yeah, because it switches from little little to konjam konjam and then Correct. you know it but beautiful the pictureization is good the music sounds great emma sir thanks for talking to us all right <laughs> so thank you. thank you so much sir thanks for talking bye to us. خلونا هلا نروح لبريك اصير ونرجع نكفي الحلقه سوا في قول شهير لبوزه بيقول انه الانسان ما في يعطي حب واهتمام وعاطف لغيره اذا ما عطى لنفسه فنحن لازم بالحياه نكون دائما اولويه لنفسنا لانه اذا ما حبينا نفسنا بالقدر الكافي ما فينا نعطي الحب للغير وهالشيء رح نشوفه اليوم مع فيديو لتعلمنا اكثر كيف نشتغل على هالنقطه فينا It's so good to be back here with a new concept and a new idea for the next few weeks I'm going to share with you how to have a super abundant and uncompromised life Before achieving abundance in any area of your life you must first establish a mindset of abundance. Abundance is not only about money and wealth. There are actually four key areas of abundance: mindset, health, wealth, and relationships. Today we're going to talk about expanding our abundance mindset. Abundance mindset is all about receiving everything and understanding that there is no scarcity. You must have all heard about the saying ask and it is given. So we ask and the universe or the supreme power gives us everything that we want. Then why some of us don't get what we ask for? The reason is because of the limiting beliefs that we have learned and formed in our childhood. We all formed our beliefs before the age of 5. And that's why in many cultures pregnant women are advised to hear good see good because all what the mother experiences the baby feels. How many of you have been told that you can't have everything all the time? If you have family then you can't have a good career, if you have the money then you can't have love. So these are all poverty consciousness beliefs. Look at all the wealthy people around you. Take an example of Mark Zuckerberg. He never thought I I don't have a college degree, I don't have enough experience because he became wealthy at a very young age. Look at Oprah, look at Tony Robbins. There were so many celebrities who never allowed the country they were born when the accents their height their shape to define who they want to be so your homework for this week is to sit down and write all the limiting beliefs that you have i can't make it because i am not good enough i am always bad at something whatever beliefs that you have that's stopping you write it down next i want you to think where these beliefs came from from your family from your friends from your coworkers even probably from a teacher in middle school now i want you to put all these beliefs in a huge suitcase you've been carrying this luggage of life for many years of your life it's now time to return this to the people who gave it to you so imagine all these people in front of you and then hand over the suitcase to them and say hey 
these are not mine these are yours so i'm returning them back to you so in our today's session we go back and look at the root causes of all these limiting beliefs and then we use powerful techniques to remove them and give you new programming اطلق الدابور مجموعه جديده من زيوت الشعر وكان هذا الشيء خلينا نقول ريفوليوشن او ثوره بحد ذاتها لزيوت الشعر تحت عنوان بليندنج ريتشوال وهذا الحدث دم اكثر من 150 انفلونسر ومؤثر بالمجال الجمالي خلونا نتعرف اكثر على هالمستحضر الجديد مع بعض Blending Rituals is the UAE's first customized hair oil that allows the customers to go onto our website. They get to choose the, they just get to answer a few questions and through our website and the technology that we've implemented over there, they get recommended a specific hair oil that best suits their hair needs and hair goals. One of the good things about this product is, uh, is that it's a very sustainable product. So every product is custom made for a specific customer or our love goes into this product so they get, it comes with a seeded paper and in this seeded paper it has their name so they get to plant it and this plant grows on after their name and also this product is a very sustainable one so we have a glass bottle a carton box so we wanted to make sure that it gives back to the environment we are a brand we are a completely natural brand and our philosophy is to help you live your natural best by providing you products which come from nature for your hair So we are an end-to-end hair care brand. We start from hair oils which nourish your hair and go all the way till hair colors. So whatever your hair care need, you can always come to Vatika and Vatika will help you live your natural best. So Vatika realized that not all women are same, not all men are same, not all hair is same, right? And that's why we have created something which is going to be customized completely for you. as per your hair needs as per your hair goals and aspirations which will make sure that your hair gets the care that it needs and deserves and that's what this event is about so we have influencers here and we are telling them about our product we are introducing blending rituals to them and through them to the world vatika uh, is the one of the leading brands which make natural hair care products usually when you go to supermarkets you get products which are same for everyone you know what i buy is the same product for you for first time we're giving power to the consumers to choose what is best for their hair you have a qr code you know and you go to vatikablendingrituals.com and there when you go in there you know you have a website in which you have you need to put all your personal details your age your hair type your hair problems your hair goals and then the artificial intelligence uh, that we have empowered on the website it suggest a particular mix for you and it gives you a particular recommended mix or if you choose that you know better than the ai you can pick your own mix and when you pick your mix we make the product we curate it and then we you know send this beautiful box uh, across to you home delivery in about a week's time hala sar waqt istiraha asira aur nirja ma baad نعرف وين بدنا نوصل شو بدنا نحقق بحياتنا وشو هدفنا لازم بالاول قبل ما نسعى لهالشيء نحدد نحن شو بدنا لانه اغلب العالم بتقول نحن اهدافنا نعمل كذا ونحن بدنا نعمل كذا بس لما تيجي تسالهم شو الهدف الرئيسي بحياتك وشو طموحك اوقات ما بيكون عندنا كثير الفكره الواضحه او بنكون ملخبطين بدنا هيك وما بدنا هيك بس يعني انا ماني متاكد انه بدي هيك فلازم نحن نحدد هدفنا ونكون واضحين عليه ونعرف بالضبط شو بدنا وبعدين نحط الخطه لحتى نعرف كيف نحقق هدفنا وهالشيء رح يساعدونا فيه خبراء المهنه شن وبيتر It's career tip time. And today we'll talk about what to do once you've landed that job offer. Congratulations. You've been through the interview process. You've found a great company. They've given you a great job offer. What happens next? Rule number 1, never accept the first offer. 
come to the table using a simple technique called the walk away. There's many other techniques we can use like anchoring, reciprocity, mirroring, so many different things we can do. Let's just focus on one that you can add to your war chest and use right away. In the walk away, before you even walk into the building, you put it in your mind that no matter what happens, I'm walking away from the deal table. So you go to the negotiation, the person says, hey, congratulations, we'd love to make you an offer. We've got $100,000 for you. You say, wow, thank you so much. I'm so excited to join the company. This is my number one choice and I've always wanted to work here. The only issue is I thought it was gonna be more money. I thought it was gonna be about $110,000. Is there any way you can sweeten the pot? They say, look, there's no way. This is our final offer, take it or leave it. You say, look, I'm gonna think about it because it really wasn't exactly what I was uh, envisioned, but can you on your side, do me a favor, see if you can get any more money in the deal. You come back the next day, when you're talking to the individual, say, hey, were you able to get me more money? Eight times out of 10, you're in the money, they got you some more cash on the deal table and you can take the offer. Otherwise, you keep negotiating and see where you end up. So even if that doesn't work in terms of increasing your base salary, realize that there's other things that you can ask for. Because some companies might be very, very inflexible in terms of the base salary, but they may be more flexible with some non-traditional approaches. So for example, try to negotiate a signing bonus, try to negotiate a relocation allowance, try to negotiate perhaps extra flights back to your home country if you're on a visa, um, or otherwise try to negotiate non-traditional benefits such as golf club memberships, gym memberships, country club memberships. So even if the organization is very inflexible on the base, realize that some of those one-offs or non, more non-traditional elements perhaps are more likely to be able to be fit in. Remember, if a company gives you a job offer, they want you to join. They want your signature on the dotted line. They want you to join and add value to their organization. So they want you, you want them. It's all about finding the right match between what you can offer them, but as well as what value you can extract from that organization. This is Shane and Pete wishing all, all your, your dreams, dreams come true. بعام 83 كان له صدى خاص لكل عشاق الكريكت بالعالم وخاصة بالهند وكيف لا والهند قدرت تحصل على أول كأس عالم إلى بالكريكت وهذا الشيء كان كتير ضخم بالهند وكرمال هيك عملوا فيلم هاي السنة كان من بطولة طبعا رامفير سينغ ودبكة باتكون برعاية المخرج كبير خان وطبعا هالفيلم كان ميزانيته خلينا نقول كانت تقريبا أعلى ميزانية بعام 2021 لأي فيلم هندي خلونا نشوف بعد كل هالضجة ونجوم كبار وميزانية عالية هل الفيلم كان بالمستوى المطلوب؟ خلونا نشوف سانتوش ورأيه Hello and watch me if you can for the last time in 2021 Today we're going to be talking about the biggest biggest film of 2021 which is 83 A film that is released 38 years after the original uh, match between India and West Indies, helmed by the captain Kabir Khan, whose previous films have all been filled with guns and explosions. Uh, this one uh, has only a mob attack uh, in the name of violence and stars some of the biggest names uh, in uh, the Hindi film industry. When I say biggest names, I'm talking about the talent. So let me come straight to the point. This is not a film, it's an experience. You have to watch it on the big screen to relive the moments of 1983 when the underdog team India won the World Cup, which nobody expected. Um, so do give it a watch. It stars Pankaj Tripathi as P.R. Man Singh, who himself was a right-handed batsman who played for Hyderabad. Um, spent a lot of time on the bench though, but he was a good administrator. Man Singh and Kapil Dev formed the dream team comprising of the biggest names, uh, Mohinder Amarnath, uh, Sunil Gavaskar, Roger Bini, Dilip Ben Sarkar, Sandeep Patil and the others. In terms of performances, my order of liking particularly is Jiva who plays the role of Krishnachari Srikant and he's played it to the T. Every mannerism is spot on. Nishan Dahiya as Roger Bini, Jatin Sarna as Yashpal Sharma, Sakit Salim as Mohinder Amarnath, and finally the captain of the ship Kapil Dev reprised by none other than Ranveer Singh himself. This man is a charmer, he can do anything except for his dressing sense. This guy can do practically any role on earth. Take a bow Ranveer and Kabir Khan, the entire team of 83. This is one sure ticket to the national award and definitely a 
uh, ensemble cast award for everybody who has put their best foot forward. At a duration of nearly three hours, the film doesn't have one dull moment at all. You can watch it over and over again and relive the moments of 1983, particularly the India-Zimbabwe match, which has no record in history ever, only because BBC went on strike. So you can see your captain with his 175 world record knock against Zimbabwe. Live it up on the big screen. So, 83 बड़े पर्दे पे देखिए बट छोटे पर्दे पे भी है आपके लिए एक फिल्म विच इज कॉल्ड अतरंगी रे Just as the title suggests, the film is quite atrangi in terms of its storyline, and that is deliberate. I'm not uh, saying ki film atrangi mat dekhi. Nahi, it's quite interesting. It is offbeat for Anand Del Rai. It is not uh, the usual stories that he has always served it with. Unlike a Ranjana, which is a love triangle between Dhanush making his debut in Hindi and Sonam Kapoor and Abhay Deol, this is also a love triangle, but it has a different angle to it. Uh, it does remind you of Intiaz Ali's Tamasha, but it has wonderful music by A.R. Rahman. Atrangi Re boasts of wonderful music and background score featuring Danush, Sara Ali Khan and Akshay Kumar in an extended cameo. Most reviews are already out, so I will briefly touch upon the same thing. It tackles mental health in a very uh, funny way and yet the last 15 minutes will tug your heart cords. It is a wonderful film. Danush can do any role. He's such a charmer. Uh, you know, despite his South Indian accent and the way he speaks Tamil, he can pull off the role so comfortably. Akshay Kumar has an over-the-top role, plays a magician, but uh, since it is the role that is requiring him to do all this, it, it does sound funny. Uh, the dialogues are not in place, and it's not everyone's cup of tea. The first. 30 minutes you'll wonder yeah in uh, anand del rai ne kya film bana di hai but the second half gathers momentum um, and towards the last uh, 15 minutes it does uh, reach a point where you understand what's going on to sum it up 83 is a must watch do give it a watch on big screen atrangi re is also a decent film zarur dekhiye it's out on disney hotstar end of the season wishing you all a wonderful wonderful season and happy new year to all our viewers i will see you in 2022 Wishing you all loads of happiness and joy. Bye bye. ولا هون بتكون خلصت حلقتنا لهالاسبوع بس طبعا بلاقيكم الاسبوع الجاي وبعام جديد ب 2022 وبتمنى ان شاء الله العام الجديد يكون افضل للكل وللجميع كونوا معنا.